This next lesson is a pretty fun one, and this is really kind of what helps get a lot of this connect between the real world to the virtual world for your new users, and that's actually branding objects in world with branding and, and collateral that's familiar to your organization. And it really makes a big difference because regardless of how well you build your, 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 your buildings or your sim or your island, it's really difficult for a new user to really have that kind of connect to understand what he or she's looking at. So the more that you can anchor your builds with, with, with you know, company logos, branding materials, publications, anything that really looks familiar in the real world, it really helps sort of anchor a new user's perspective so that at least they have something familiar that they can tie to while they go off and, and still see kind of the, you know, what's, what's new and unique about the virtual world. So let's go ahead and just upload an image. And you can do an, that one of two ways. Go to File, Upload Image, or just click Command U, which is what I do. It'll cost you 10 lens, which is about, I don't know, I think about one or two cents. Have this online forums JPEG. I'm just going to upload that. It's going to ask me to upload it. I'm going to put a prefix on here real quick. I'm just going to code guild underscore. I do that for all of my objects because whenever I work for a specific uh, build, I want to have some kind of name or prefix that makes it a lot easier to sort through the inventory. Inventory gets really out of control quickly, so it's important to put something that's kind of memorable up front. Go ahead and click OK. I'll take a moment. Pay 10, and there it is. So this is how we can get images from outside the virtual world into Second Life, into the virtual world. So let's go ahead and we're going to res an object. And res an object simply means we're just going to create one. So a couple of different ways I can do it. I can click the build button down here. Brings open my menu, or which is a little bit faster in general. I just right click and choose create. And I'll select one of these objects. In this case, I'll select the square. I'm just going to click once to basically put an object on the floor. It's called resing an object. So I just res a cube. Use my camera controls to zoom in a little bit. By default, all objects come with the wood shape. So let's go ahead and I want to remove that wood and just have a blank white one. Click the texture box. There's the wood. Click blank and it turns it all white. Click select and get rid of that. Actually, I need it back. So right click and choose edit. Holding down the control and the shift key lets me manipulate this object going to grab the green one and just drag it in. So I'll make it a little bit thinner, a bit more like poster board. Grab the blue handle and drag it up. Red and drag it out. Let me adjust my camera. Should be good. Click on this image and drag it on. You can see the cursor change. And there we go. So now I have our logo here. I'm just going to open that up a little bit more. Other way I could have done this would be to right click choose edit and then under the texture tab you see where it says multiple and that's because on one side I have the forums logo on the other I have a blank so I could choose select texture to select individual faces of the object another way just to apply the texture I'll go ahead and leave it like that scroll around and there's the first one of our objects and I think it looks pretty good go ahead and put it up on a wall let's see what we have here Move it into position. We even move this thing out a little bit just to make this bigger. But essentially, we have our first of many logos branded in our building. 